What's up? We're back with another video and today we're going to be doing the thousand degree knife challenge. So we're really excited about this experiment because we're going to be cutting some objects and it's going to be really hot. We've never hot. done this extreme of an experiment. Well, we've actually never done an experiment on this channel. So this marks the very first one. That's one exciting thing. And then also we're going to get down and dirty and we're going to slice some things up. It's going to be fun. That's right. We're in the parking lot of Lowe's right now. We're heading on inside because we have to do some shopping. There's a few items that we have to purchase in order to to make all this possible so let's go let's go we picked up two different tanks one propane one map this is what we're going to use for the torches which are back at home now the last thing that we need is a knife i feel like this is like the only Knife. You really couldn't find any like heavy duty kitchen type of knife that's like sturdy, so we're gonna have to go with a machete. It's bigger than what would be really intended. It's 18 inches long. Yeah, so it's gonna have to work because everything else is weak. Got all the goodies? Time to head back to my house and make this experiment happen. Yo, show me what this boy do. So we have everything basically set up. We got this big sucker right here, tripod, items, and are you ready? I am ready, I just Snapchat it, it's official. Got my little goggles on, you have yours on, you look pretty cute with them on. My dad is by the fire pit, he's getting things situated, he's putting out like a board so that that is where we will actually cut the stuff. Okay. Let's go check him out. What's the game plan? Uh, we gonna burn it, torch it, and then cut it. Show us the setup. We have our fire pit using a board stainless steel plate so we don't burn the board to reflect the heat and we will put the items on the board and we do choppy choppy <laughs> Boys and girls, before you take on this task, you have to first look at safety. Safety is involved with having a hands-on portable fire extinguisher. Using the proper equipment, board, stainless steel board that will keep the heat from penetrating the wood and damaging anything underneath the surface. We would like to always have safety gloves to protect your hands from burning. We also use safety goggles, as you see, uh, Actually, there with the pretty face there with the goggles, <laughs> and uh, that's so anything if it splashes or splashes. explodes, it will protect at least her eyes, but what not her face. Splashing? <laughs> splashing would be anything that might uh, bubble and uh, decide to go blow blow. Important to be uh, safe than sorry. Without further ado, let's get started with this experiment. torch is going we're also measuring the temperature just to be certain that it's a thousand degrees we're getting there almost at 900 it's melting go in a little more with it yeah It smells like burnt plastic out here. It did not cut all the way through it. It did damage. Push it straight up there. Yeah, perfect. Good. Whoa! Alright, good. <laughs> yeah! You know. Yeah, it's cooled down now, right? Yeah. It's funny how once it cools now, you can't even cut it. Right, it. A 
Again. Again. Oh, it's frying. Throw the inside. Still steaming. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the smoke is getting it. Yeah, it's good. Cooking eggplants. Mm. Yum yum, it actually eggplant. smells good. Cooking eggplant on a bob. Oh my god, the deodorant, I smell it. Burn crispy. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's a stubborn one. Did you Juice. Oh. Oh. I think we needed that huh? to cover it up. Smells the smell. good. Yum yum. Ew. Whoa, whoa, that was cool. Smell it. It's perfume. Ooh. Tilt it up. That <laughs> smells good. It smells pretty yummy. A little deodorant for Nana. <laughs> yeah, go back and forth and separate. Yeah, so to the inside, that's perfect. <sighs> Yummy toothpaste. Kind of hard, right? I see sparks. Ah. Chalk is chalk. A big marshmallow. Let's get that extinguisher ready. It's ready. Stay warm. We went through all of the objects that we pulled out throughout the entire house, and I was very surprised by many of them. Like the dumbbell did not cut at all. Yeah. I thought we were going to be able to slice yeah. right through it. I was really interested to see what's inside it because I think it's, it's sand, it's right? It's probably sand, yeah. But the plastic would not cut for some reason. Another thing that was really hard to cut was the chalk because we didn't take the chalk out of the yeah. container. And it, going through all the chalk. 
was really difficult. Also, um, the toilet paper because there was it was it wasn't like a thin roll. It was very difficult as well. Yeah, as you saw, it went straight into flames because of the sword. Uh, the sword. <laughs> the sword. Oh, did any of you guys ever see uh, what? No, what's the game? Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja. I was obsessed, and that's what this actually reminded me of because we used the machete. <laughs> felt like I was in the game, which was a lot of fun. This is gonna conclude the video. I had a lot of fun. Did you I have I did too. This was so different than anything we ever done. Like, even just the two of us, we've never done experiments. Definitely. So I thoroughly enjoyed this. I want you guys to let us know, what did you think about this type of video? I know it wasn't a challenge or a prank. Let us know if you wanna see more of these experiments. If this video gets 2,000 likes, not only will we do another 1,000 degree knife challenge with other objects, we'll do other experiments as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you in the next video bye